Hey beauties, it's me, Braxton MG, and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please stay and please subscribe. And for today's YouTube video, I will be doing a full face using PR products, aka products sent to me in the mail by companies to test out for free, and also answer a few of you guys' questions. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video with all your mothers, brothers, and sisters on all of the social medias, and let's get right into it. Alright, so first off, I'm actually going to go ahead and prep my lips, and I was just eating, so if you see any food or anything on the side of my lips, I'm sorry, but first I'm going to go ahead and take the Kosa Sport and the Kosa Lip Oil, this is a duo, it's like a chapstick and a lip oil, um, well not chapstick, it's like a lip balm and a lip oil, but you don't buy them together, you buy them separately, this was sent to me by Kosa, or Kosas, thank you so much, I actually really love these two products especially together I apply them every time I do my makeup and every time before I go to bed and it really helps to hydrate and plump my lips for the next morning or for the makeup application alright so next up I have a box full of the stuff I got in PR except for this uh, Jeffree Star highlighter I haven't used it yet so I want to try it speaking of let me put on the jacket I also got the jacket in the mail so nice. I love it so much. Okay, so I got this in PR a long time ago, but um, I'm gonna use it today. I use this every time before I do my makeup. I love Pure Lease and especially this. This is the Pure Lease Watermelon Energizing Balm, and I'm gonna go ahead and rub this into my skin. To help hydrate. Now in a minute I'm going to go off of camera so that I can do my brows because I didn't get a brow product in PR and if I did it's been a long time and I've probably used it all or I lost it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do my brows off of camera right quick and I'll be right back. Alright I'm back with the brows on and I just want to say I'm not the best at brows. Alright and I've also for this sponge I'm using one I got in PR. This is from Thin Lizzy. This is their Flawless Complexion Blending Sponge. Um, and as far as eyeshadow goes, I haven't gotten an eyeshadow palette in PR in so long. So I'm just going to use one that I haven't used yet out of my collection. It is the Fenty Beauty Moroccan Spice Palette. Here it is. And I haven't used this one yet, so today we're going to dive into it. It's so freaking hard to open. Like, I don't understand what Rihanna is doing. Oh, I'm going to break a nail. Okay, got it. So this is what it looks like. I'll probably just keep it pretty neutral today just so I can maybe look a little decent because I don't know how a lot of these products are going to work and I also want to say ignore my skin I know it looks bad I've been going through a lot of stress lately um, just life is being life so I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyelids using the P. Louise uh, Rumor 0.5 eyeshadow base just so I can give these eyeshadows a fair chance because I love the P. Louise base and I know that it works for every eyeshadow so I'm going to go ahead and use the Rihanna palette now I'm thinking I want to do um, these shades right here, very that. So first I'm going to go ahead and go in with the shade, this is going to be so confusing. I'm going to go ahead and go in with the shade called Quicksand. I'm going to go ahead and run this through my crease very quickly. Not much fallout, so that's good. Let me zoom you on in a little bit. Alright, now that that is blended through my crease, I'm going to go ahead and deepen it up. And I'm going to take the shade called Evil Genie. It's right here. It's just this brown. And I'm going to go ahead and put this through the crease also. A little bit lower and just more towards the outer corner. Very simple, very quick and easy like that. All right, now I'm gonna continue to deepen this up and I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade. Girl, this is so confusing. Oh, is it called come and get it, cumin and get it? I don't know, it's so confusing to read the palette, but I'm not gonna tell you all the shade names. It's this shade, y'all. The shade names is so confusing to read on the back. 
I'm gonna really put this really low in the crease. Very ever so slightly. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and deepen this out even more. I'm gonna take this shade right here and I'm gonna mix in a little bit of this shade right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and quickly do that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and really define this crease, doing a cut crease, and I'm gonna be right back and I'll show you what I put on the lid. All right, here is my little crappy cut crease, and for the lid, I'm probably gonna go in with the shade right here. It's like a champagne. Can you see it? It's right here. This shade is probably called two. Mirage, Mariah Carey. No, I'm just kidding, Mirage. I think that's what it's called, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it. Honestly, the formula on this eyeshadow is really weird. Like, it's really like, I don't know. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and warm up the crease and really clean up by using the first shade we used. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye off of camera and I'll be right back to do the face. All right, so I'm back and to be honest, I'm not really liking this Fenty Beauty palette too much. It's kind of hard to work with. I think I've created an okay look, but to be honest, it looks bad. So we're just gonna move on. There's a brush under me. I knew I felt something in my butt and not something I wanted to be there. All right, so I went ahead and zoomed y'all out so we can focus on the face now. All right, so for the face, I have three different brand options. I have Kosas Beauty with their Tinted Face Oil. And the shades, they sent me the shades 04 and 3.5. Or I have Zisa Beauty with their All Hours Foundation and their Multi-Effect Makeup Primer. Here it is. Or I have the Thin Lizzy Flawless Complexion Foundation Primer and Concealer, wherever it's at. For me, I think I'm gonna go with the Thin Lizzy products just because of the formula. Now it's more of a, like a liquidy, a fluid foundation, so I really like that on my skin, so I'll probably go with them. The Kosas Tinted Face Oil, um, I checked the shades, they don't match me that well, and also I'm not a fan of, of face oils. And then for Zisa Beauty, it's really too dark. And the primer, it honestly makes me look like I'm an old lady that's in a casket because of the film it has. But overall, the packaging on the Zisa Beauty products are really awesome. And the Costa products is just very eco-friendly and um, very, you know, natural. But like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and go with the Thin Lazy products. And for setting powder today, I have not gotten a setting powder in PR ever. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose the Ciate London Everyday Vacay Powder. I haven't used it yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and use it today. So I'm gonna start off by going ahead and using the Thin Lizzy Perfectly Primed Pore Minimizing Primer. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and see what this is about. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some on the back of my hand. I'm gonna put a lot because I don't know how much I need. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply this and then we'll answer a question because I was asking friends questions. Oh. Can I be honest with you? I don't like the feeling of it. It feels very like Benefit Professional and I don't like that primer. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and wipe my hands and I'm gonna go ahead and answer two questions for you guys right now that you all asked. So let's head over to Instagram and see what's happening. First of all, Crystal K Beauty, one of my friends here on YouTube and Instagram asked, if you could change one thing about the world, what would it be? Now, in the current time and date, I would change the coronavirus because it's causing so much frenzy and panic and it's just aggravating because I'm like, y'all, Y'all knew about HIV and it kills people every day, but y'all still having sex unprotected. But the second, all oh, the coronavirus, y'all need to go buy toilet paper. You need, like, calm down, y'all. Like, it's mostly killing old people. Sorry, grandma. And it's really, really just is what it is. Like, you can't stop it. It is what it is. Just let it be. So I would change the coronavirus right now. Um, honestly, because look, we probably not gonna have school for a whole month, which is so dumb. I just want to go to school, finish it, because I have to make up the time anyway. And I am a senior, so I don't want to spend more time than I need to there. Um, so pretty much, yeah, the coronavirus. Another question is from my account is lit 2002 
and they said, tell us about your love life. When will you finally get a boyfriend? Okay, so well, the tea is, I don't have a love life. It just doesn't exist. I honestly can't really change nothing about it. I mean, I like this guy. I think I'm talking to him. I don't really know. It's so confusing. One second, it's like he's showing interest, and then the next, it's like he doesn't want anything to do with me. I really like him, and I really would, you know, love for our relationship or whatever it is to progress, but if he just wants to be friends, I wish he would tell me because it's like leading me on, throwing me mixed signals, he flirts with me, I don't know what's happening, what's the deal. It's kind of confusing. I like him. I don't know if he likes me, so we'll see. I'm really scared because I feel like I'm the only one who's falling because I'm I have feelings for him and I don't know where he stands or if he even cares about me like that or has feelings for me um yeah it kind of sucks i'm scared to be hurt again but maybe in the future i'll have finally have a boyfriend <laughs> lol um i don't know or i'll just die alone <laughs> that's what it feels like at this point now i'm gonna go ahead and take their flawless complexion liquid foundation they sent me over the shades enchanted rose and pearl so i'm gonna go ahead oh, i'm gonna go ahead and pick up my sleeves and go ahead and pump it out and see. They honestly look both too light for me, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and go with, I'm gonna go ahead and mix them, cause why not? But they honestly both look a little too light for me, so wish me luck, Flashback Mary. I don't really like James Charles or watch his stuff, but girl, Flashback Mary's coming. I don't know how much of this I need, so I'm just gonna use a pump of each. I don't know if this foundation sponge soaked up a lot of the product or if it's just a thinner foundation, but it's not giving me super, super high coverage. Um, I would say like light to medium. Honestly, my skin looks so bad. I don't know. That primer, I'm very, I need very moisturizing products on my skin and it looks like that primer really soaked up all the oil. So it looks pretty heavy, honestly. I mean, I did use a lot, but to get the amount of coverage I wanted to, I did have to use quite a bit. And for my other foundation, I don't have to use quite as much and I still get nice coverage without looking heavy or cakey. So I don't know what that's about, but, and it does seem to be oxidizing pretty much a little bit. I look really bad. I don't usually look horrible like this when I use my other products. It could just be that my skin's having issues lately or it's the foundation and primer. Uh, I'm gonna have to try the products where it's just me using the primer where it's actually I don't want to use the primer again I'd have to try these uh, foundations where it's me using my everyday normal products So now for concealer I'm also gonna take their thin Lizzie flawless complexion concealer cream and they sent over the shade enchanted rose Hopefully it's light enough. I like a little bit of brightening under my eyes and it's in a tube So I'm gonna have to take it on the back of my hand and with a brush So I'm gonna go ahead and take this Moda brush, uh, use code Braxton or Braxton MG at checkout. I could never remember which one it is. Honestly, if you check the uh, the description box below, it should say. Why do I look like an old freaking lady, man? I'm not sure what the T is, but I'm not liking it. The concealer seems to be looking alright. Let me look in my phone and see what the tea is. It looks pretty good on looks pretty good on my phone, so I'm just gonna roll with it. And I'm gonna go ahead and answer two more questions right quick. And these questions also come from Instagram. We have Faith Yang underscore. What do you really love about yourself? Um, honestly, if we're being honest, there's not much I love about myself. Um, I'm decently confident, but lately I've just not been feeling myself, to be honest. I really haven't. Um, I think I'm a really nice person and a really caring person, um, and I have a big heart. Uh, that's I always say that I love that about me, but I also hate that about me because people walk all over me all the time and they get away with it because I have such a big heart. And I'm like, I try to be very understanding and try to reason with them and be like, well, maybe it was just 
you know, blah, 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 or maybe it was that. Like, I make excuses for people all the time, and I know I shouldn't because sometimes you just gotta bite the bullet and just really say, like, no, I deserve to be treated better. You're not gonna treat me like that. But I just have a big heart, so sometimes it's hard. So I love that about me, but I also hate that about myself. Another question comes from Andrea Byers underscore. After everything that has happened with your own parents, do you ever want to start your family of your own? Start a family of your own. Um, I would love to start a family of my own. I don't want to do it single. So, of course, I'm trying to meet the one and kind of start my career and my journey of being an adult because I turned 18 in February. Um, but as soon as I meet a guy and years down the road, if he wants kids also, then I would love to have kids. Um, but at this rate, I'm gonna be single forever because it's just life. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my face using the Ciate London uh, Vacay Everyday Powder. And I'm gonna go ahead and see what this is like. It's very white. It smells like coconuts. I'm a little scared because it's so white. really looks horrible with the combination of the primer and the foundations and the concealer and the powder I look like an old grandma and I never look like this and I mean never and it's not the amount I use because I always use like this much I think it's just because the primer was so drying and my skin really needs that moisture and relies on that moisture and then having the powder oh wow having the powder on top doesn't help so that's great. Um, not sure how I feel about this powder. I'd have to test it whenever my skin actually looks good and can benefit from it. I'm gonna go ahead and dust off the excess powder and I'll be right back. And I'm actually gonna use a brush I got in PR. This is the Thin Lizzy highlighting brush and I'm just gonna smoke it out on the lower lash. My skin looks horrible, freaking bold. Hope y'all can see how bad it looks and I never, I'm also going to take the uh, bright white shade in the palette and I'm going to use that to highlight my inner corner and my brow bone. <sighs> I'm not feeling it. Thin Lizzy sent me this 6-in-1 Professional Pressed Powder in light so it's their bronzer and I'm going to go ahead and try and use this to bronze my face a little bit. It doesn't look that bad. I mean, considering with the way my face looks. Okay, whatever. It is what it is. We're just going to power through this. I'm so over the makeup already. My base really is driving me nuts. It never looks this horrible. And it looks freaking horrible. Like, I look like an old cakey grandma. And that's not it for me. So, today's not about looking cute, I guess. Today's about trying the products. <sighs> okay. So, now I have different blushes to try. Alamar Cosmetics. I'm on their PR list. And they sent me their... Colorette Blush Trios in Light, Medium, and Dark. I already love these, so I'm going to go ahead and not try them because I already know I love them. I'm going to go ahead instead and try this blush that Thin Lizzy sent me. They sent me over their Sweet Face Blush Trio. Look at the outer packaging. That's so cute. Um, but I'm going to use it. And then also I've gotten these blushes from Kosas. A Eighth Muse Color and Light Cream. And then... Papaya 1972 Color and Light Pressed. Here's what they look like. It's a highlighter and a blush. They're super cute, but just for the look I'm going for, well, I ain't going for no look anymore because this is what we'd be looking like. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just, why can't I open this? Look at this. Ew, I swatched it, but I'm gonna go ahead and just use the Thin Lizzy Blush. It is a really cute component and they're marbled luminous baked blushes and I actually really love blushes like that so I'm hoping I love these as well Braxton you gonna I look like a joke is this April Fool's or what so before I go ahead and highlight I'm actually gonna go ahead and spray my face now Zisa Beauty sent me this in PR this is their lasting makeup setting spray and it is really pretty like if you shake it it has some shimmer reflex in it so I'm gonna go ahead and really hydrate my face after all that dryness that's on my face and honestly if we're being honest it smells so good now I'm gonna go ahead and let this settle into my skin but after that I'm gonna be using either the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna um, 
trophy wife, which probably not just because it is so, 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 so dark. To me, it looks like it would work better on dark complected skins. I'll probably end up going in with the also Thin Lizzy Luminous Light Highlighting Trio and also Unicarton on point. And it's also in the same component and this is what it looks like. They're actually super pretty. They're also baked. I, ooh, I really like champagne highlight, so I'll probably go in with this one, but I also really like gold highlight, so I'll probably mix the two and see how that works out for me. My skin still looks really bad, so. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and answer some more questions. We have a question from Makeup Junkie Swapper. What are your plans and goals after high school? My plans and goals after high school would be to run away because I don't even know. I'm really stressing. I'm scared. I'm worried. I don't know what the heck I'm going to do. All my life I've had this plan and with the life change of events in the past two years of me losing my house um, and then living with someone and then losing that house. So basically becoming homeless twice in one year temporarily. Um, and then with my dad not being supportive. I feel like I really just have to rush and find a place of my own so I can really just start growing back my mental health so I can strengthen it because being at a place where you're kind of mentally abused is not great for me. Um, and it's really stressful and I just, I just feel like I have to put on a facade that I'm not um, and I don't want to and it really fucks up my mental health for lack of better words. So after high school, I really don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know what I'm gonna do, I really don't. I guess I'll go to school for cosmetology and do hair and makeup and cry about it later. Vlad J underscore Bonaventura, and he says, thoughts on pineapple on a pizza? Honestly, pineapple on a pizza, if it's not on a pizza, I'm not eating the pizza because I really, 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 really love pineapple on a pizza, actually. Um, I think it's very, very underrated. Like, a lot of people are like, ew, but I really love it. So, pineapple on pizza, yes, please. All right, so now I'm gonna take my Morphe X Jeffree Star JS4 and I'm gonna try out these Thin Lizzy highlighters. Now I'm gonna go ahead and press into both of them. They seem to be picking up a good bit and I'm gonna go ahead and try. Ugh, my skin looks so bad. This makeup look is not it. Honestly, these highlighters are gorgeous though. Now y'all know what, it's not gonna go with the look, but I bought the Jeffree Star Extreme Frost in the shade Choking on Ice, and I haven't used it yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the Jeffree Star Extreme Frost. Will you marry me? Probably not, because no one wants me. That's what it feels like. Like, I've really be fallen in deep. Well, I've only fallen for guys three times, actually. My ex-boyfriend, I was in love with that boy. Um, anyway. <laughs> Um, but I don't know. I really like this guy. Like it's so confusing and so hard to explain because I really want him to be happy though. Like regardless, I want him to be happy, but I just wish he felt the same way about me because I would do like, honestly, whoa, I honestly really would do whatever I could to be with him. Like, honestly, like I really like him that much. I think he's so amazing and he's so sweet and genuine. And I just feel like, you know, everything that's wrong in the world stops whenever I talk to him because he just makes everything feel so much better. And like, I feel safe talking to him and just, he just really makes me happy. And well, not makes me happy, but keeps me happy to be real. Um, so I don't know if I ever get the chance to, I know I won't take it for granted because I really like him and I want him to be happy. And I just, I think he deserves everything good coming for him because he deserves it. And I just wish that it could be me that he wanted, you know, because I really would just give him a lot of my affection, my attention, my love, everything and more because I just like him. I'm sorry. I don't know what else to say. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and holy camoli. This is beautiful. Can y'all see that? Let me put on a little more. No, it obviously doesn't go with the makeup look, but honestly, this makeup look is looking horrible. So we're just gonna go for it, but this is beautiful. I thought it was gonna be too dark for my skin, but there's not even a cast on my face when I turn to the front. Let me see. All right, so that's it for highlighters, actually, um, to be honest. I'm not even really worried about how I look. I'm gonna wash all this off after I'm done. We're just gonna try and get through trying the products that we have, and then we'll be about our lives. 
but just kind of going with lips now um, I'll probably go in with actually I've really been curious to try out this velvet lip cream by Thin Lizzy So all the other products will say goodbye to for now, but I'm gonna go ahead and take the Alamard Cosmetics uh, Lip liner in the shade Dolce And I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my lips Can I be honest with y'all? I really love these Alamard lip liners like to be honest I love them now. I'm gonna go ahead and take the spicy cinnamon Thin Lizzy velvet lip cream and it comes with like this. It's weird you gotta push it up when I swatched this on the back of my hand it was pretty thin so we'll see here it is I did it a little wonky I'm really concerned I wonder if it's gonna dry down or anything so I'll give it a second and then I'll be right back I'm not doing eyelashes I'm not doing mascara I'm not finishing my face because I'm going to wash this makeup off right after anyway if you ask me this video was a flop and I just want to say I'm sorry for that um, I just want to say thank you to everyone who asked questions there's more questions that I couldn't get to. Um, I'll hurry up and answer two more questions just because I know that I want to answer as many as I can because I don't get the opportunity to answer questions that often. So I'm going to go on Snapchat and I have a few questions on there. So from um, a friend of mine named Jonah on Snapchat, he asked who is your favorite makeup YouTuber and that's very easy to answer. That is Jeffree Star. I love Jeffree Star so much. And then I just got a nude and then we have a question from Aslin on Snapchat and she asks, what's the dumbest thing you've ever done but would you still do it again? The dumbest thing I've ever done. Um, I've done a lot of dumb things because I'm a pretty dumb person but no offense if my ex is watching this. I think just, you know, letting a relationship consume me so much was pretty dumb um, because we were young and we didn't know what we were doing and I just think I fell for him you know so easily too easily and just thought I knew what love was but I didn't and we just weren't made for each other you know there's people that work out so well because they're made for each other we just weren't compatible we're friends now and I think he's an amazing friend I like him as a friend and I don't regret it because it just taught me and I was able to learn so many things and it was an experience that I won't forget thanks Jacob but I mean and he was on my channel uh, there's still the video, it's called My Ex-Boyfriend Does My Makeup at the time we were boyfriends. Um, but yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so sorry for this video. I mean, I really don't know if I like many of these products because the primer really threw me off. So I will be continuing to try these products out and seeing how they work. Um, you can really watch back. If I told you I like it, then you know for sure I like it, but if I was uneasy, then I don't know if I like it, so just go off of that. You can really investigate yourself, but I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video with all your mothers, brothers, and sisters. Pray that I don't get the coronavirus, and let's also pray that next week's YouTube video is a little bit better, because girl, this one was a hot mess, and we like it hot, and we like it messy, but when it's together, that ain't it, Bessie. Thank you so much.